We're going to add some clouds into a beautiful blue sky. The easiest way to do this, open the original image that you're going to be working in. I'm working right now in Photoshop CS4, but you can do it in CS3, you can do it in CS2, you can do it in CS5, doesn't matter. The only thing that does matter is that you have two images that you can kind of blend together. The fastest way to do this, I have the image open, I'm going to go File and Place, and I've saved another image on my desktop that I know is going to work because I tried it out a hundred times, which is right here. When I place, you can see that the horizontal lines are a little bit off, so I'm just going to crank that around. And I'm going to stretch it out so that it covers all of the edges and hit my Enter key to finish the transformation. To blend this image into the one below, in effect giving us some clouds, is very, very simple. Down at the bottom of the layer palette, first of all I want to be clicked on the top layer, the one that I just brought on. Down at the very bottom of the, the layer palette, there's this little tiny kind of washing machine guy looking thing. And that adds a layer mask. When I click onto this, you can see up here in your layer palette, I've got now this little white square. I'm going to use the gradient tool, which is over here on your tool palette. I'm going to check to make sure that my gradient is the first one. That's called your foreground to background. I'm going to check to make sure that it's a linear gradient. And I'm just simply going to do this. Wherever I want the gradient to start, in other words, wherever I want it to start to blend in, I'm going to click and hold. And wherever I want this layer to be completely transparent to the next layer down, I'm going to let go. There you go. Clouds in a clear blue sky.